Hi guys, Jace here. If like me, you struggle to complete some workouts indoors, keep watching as today I'm going to show you how to download a workout on your bike computer. You can come and join me on my workout and get some tips for completing the workout outdoors. Now many people, including yours truly, find certain workouts harder indoors and studies have shown that cyclists with the same rate of perceived exertion ride at higher watt values outside than indoors. There are a few reasons as to why. First of all, temperature. Even with fans it can be hot inside and we will elevate the room temperature and this can lead to a loss of performance. Fluid loss. As you're sweating more you need to drink more fluids. Fluid loss due to intensive sweating can reduce blood plasma volume and therefore increase your heart rate. Now sitting position and position on the bike. Unless you have a Wahoo climb or a Wahoo kicker bike, then you are mainly in the same position, whereas outside your body moves fore and aft and from side to side. You will need more energy as you will use the muscle statically and there's no roll and recovery phase. So your muscles have less break and therefore fatigue earlier. I've tried to manage some of these factors with fans to cool me down, extra water and to stand up on the bike every 10 minutes or so. And I've even succumbed to buying that Wahoo kicker bike. Nevertheless, I still like to get the fresh air and do as many of my workouts outside as weather and terrain and routes permit. Now talking of routes and terrain, you do need to choose them wisely and find a route without lots of stops or undulations or a stretch long enough to do the intervals. This session I will do is a VO2 max session with five sets of 2.5 minute intervals which are followed by 60 seconds rest followed by 2.5 minute intervals. I do need to find a hill I can do a VO2 max pace comfortably on to get that in. Now, luckily for me, I have got Mount Eden, which is a inactive, I hope, volcano, only about a kilometer or so from my doorstep. And it takes me about, it depends where I start, seven, eight, nine minutes of a threshold to get to the top. So that should be long enough. I've got the phone here. I'm just gonna tap on the trainer road app it will eventually open and you can see my workout there speeding i'll press on that workout speeding bottom left hand corner there's a little kind of drawing or pen pencil click on that and you can change that from inside to outside and then i'll click back again and you can have a look at the workout even quicker on the desktop app you can open up or get to the website click on calendar Click on your session, move it from inside to outside and save it. And when you open your bike computer or GPS, then you will sync it and it will pop up on the screen. Now come and join me for my outside workout where I'm the one doing the suffering and we'll have a chat and try to work out the best way of doing these. And I'll give you some tips as we go along. I've just switched on the Wahoo, we go to the menu button, button on the left, scroll down to plan workouts, select, and we have to sync. Takes a little while and then you see the workout and then you go down and select it. And when we want to go, we press start. <coughs> now you can press start and you can press pause anytime throughout the workout, so if you've got a longer break than you wanted because of your route then you can press pause and then forward to the next block and then forward to the next interval afterwards and then press play again so you can carry on so you can have longer breaks if you need to or shorter breaks if you want to when doing the outside workouts okay so just out of the ride and you can probably see just doing the warm Heading off to Mount Eden where there's a bit of a hill so I can do my so. One thing I did forget to mention is that I am on my mountain bike. And now the reason I'm on the mountain bike is that 
it makes the hill longer. So if you've only got a, you know, six minute hill on your road bike, if you have a luxury of having a mountain bike, then use a mountain bike. I think I'll just do a bit of a opener and a warm up. Get me going and up the speed. Now this session is just above threshold. It's supposed to be one VO2. Maybe because it's longer, I don't know. But it's about 105%, I think, of threshold. I'm ahead of schedule, but where I want to be, so I can just pause it, move it on, and resume, and it will start. Three, two, one, and off we go. Whew. So the range there, I've got is 237 to 257. Oh, better slow down a little bit. The tendency is always to go off a little bit quick. And it also, of course, depends on the hill. Mountain bike's got less gears as well, so it's harder to get into that sweet spot. I do try to take it steady and not get too carried away at the first one. Okay, the end of that first bit. Whew, just count it down. Now it's nice because you can see the bottom right there it gives you a watts for your last interval which is 249 pretty much smack back in the middle of the range awesome Whew. all right 10 more seconds start ramping it up Two, one, go. You can see my kind of rest period was way above what it should be because you're on a hill. But no doubt, when I get more tired, that will get lower. Even this hill's got some flat spots. So you have to focus. More we'll flat bit. Have to pedal hard before the end of the interval. Woo! <laughs> so we're gonna break now. Four minutes. And my last lap where and my last lap there, you can see two five one. So, chill out. While I'm in this rest, I'll just tell you about another way to do this if you haven't got power. You can do it based on RPE, which is the rate of perceived exertion. There's various kind of numbers. I think it's, I think it's out of 10, but it will give you a guide on the workout and then you can just go for it. It was pretty much old school way. Just do it on feel. And normally you'd be surprised how good you'll get at that, I think. Okay, four more of these sets to go. I timed this recovery really well, which I'm quite happy with. And off we go, second interval. And done. <laughs> Woo. Oh. oh, that was. Oh. Well, it's getting harder. Three sets done, two sets to go. <laughs> right, here we go. Last one. You can do anything for two and a half minutes. Let's see if I can get 250 above. Okay. Whew. Woo! Oh, 266, wow. Time for a quick recap then, while I'm getting my breath. I've just got the cool down to go. 
So in summary then, outside workouts are great. I'm not quite sure if I could have done that workout indoors today. I was a little bit tired. Also, just think ahead. Make sure you put it on outdoors in the app before you start. I'll stop a bit of frustration and plan your route make sure you've got good terrain and maybe a decent hill or no uh, stops no traffic lights and also if your hill isn't quite big enough think about using your mountain bike which will make that stretch of road or hill a lot longer one benefit to all this as well is that it's probably a bit more specific than riding indoors because it's undulating the power will go up and down like in real life so if you're on indoors and on erg mode that doesn't happen well i hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching give me a thumbs up and i will see you out on the trails